What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping back by. Now today is a very special day. It is Corvette's 64th birthday. First Corvette, the C1, was produced 64 years ago, June 30th, uh, 1953. So 64 strong years. I'm sure there's many more to come. Today is also National Drive Your Corvette to Work Day. So we're going to be taking the vet to work. Thanks to all the new subs yesterday who watched me install the side skirts. Must say, they are looking pretty killer. And uh, yeah, that's it, let's head to work. So if you're lucky enough to get caught on the 225 highway in Houston, mid-afternoon, this is what you will see. Behind you, semi-trucks. And in front of you, just a line of semi-trucks. Big shout out to Dan, by the way. Thank you for the glasses that you left in my car yesterday. Putting them to great use because I forgot mine today. So thanks, Dan. So my coworker's new SS. Looks pretty nice. Looks a little bit slow to me. It's a 50th anniversary package, I'm guessing. Let's see if he'll let me drive it. I think it's a manual. Yep. Let's go see. My coworker just happens to be at the very back of the plant. So I'm getting to walk through this blistering heat to come ask him if I can drive his Camaro. He's probably gonna say no, but we'll see. What you doing way back here? You're, you're manually loading pipes now? Well, the drivers are gone and they left early, but I'm, I want to get this truck preloaded so I can load it back here. It looks piffy in your new uniform. Oh, yeah, it's piffy. <laughs> hey. What's going on? I got a good question for you. What's that? Can I drive the Camaro what? around the block? Oh, yeah. Just don't be drifting around for the real? corners now. For real? Huh? I'm, I'm doing it for YouTube. Yeah. I just want to take it up and down the street, compared differences no oh shit we got the keys guys all right i'll be back i'll bring her back safe <laughs> all right guys i was not expecting that just got the keys to his camaro i had no idea he was gonna say yes but you know never get anything if you don't ask so after i make this long walk back we'll uh, go take his camaro for a spin real quick this is my coworker Richard's 50th anniversary. Got the nice little pinstripe running across. So that almost looks like orange stitching. Yeah, it's orange stitching. Accented all over. It's pretty cool. This is, uh, whew. this is my very first time inside one of these. Ooh, the Alcantara on the side. That's nice. Let's get this thing started. It's hot. No, so tilting this thing is what controls the air. That's pretty cool. Now, how do I get it to go auto? Whoo, all right. Cool down a little bit. Got the little 50 accent right here. Those gauges. Let the car warm up a little bit. That touch ring is kind of cool. He still hasn't taken this thing off. It's got the, I'm assuming this is a special shift knob. Interior overall is really nice and there's the back seats. What are those? <laughs> All together. I love the accents of the stitching in this car and The interior ooh, I just noticed this right here It's like very lightly dimpled in to the airbag cover or no this is the airbag cover Huh, but into the dash is very nice little dimples that uh Have 50 a lot of nice little touches Chevy did. So here I am. I fit a little bit better in this car. You know, I 
packed on a few extra pounds. But overall, the, you still get a, a bit of a cockpit feel due to these door panels, how far they extend out. You've got your memory buttons over here for the seats. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of, there's really a lot I like about the interior of this Camaro. Um, and you know what? The visibility in here isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But man, look how high these windows are. That's just ridiculous. Look at him. <laughs> he's walking by. He's like, oh no. He's probably regretting this decision right about now. All right. So this is the mode you guys want to be in because it will still give you traction control, but it will let you access a little bit more of the power. Even though the lights are off here, it's better than the, the, the standard traction control. It's got the same clicking parking brake, which is taking a lot for me to get used to. So now that's off. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video or not, but the HUD is amazing. My Camaro, I mean my Corvette is only a 1LT, so I don't have that feature. This shifter just has such a great feel. It, I mean, I have a, only a small amount of experience with it, but I'm liking it a bit more than the shifter in the Corvette. It just feels way smoother. Do a little pull right here. So it doesn't throw you back in the seat quite like the Corvette does, especially not mine considering I have headers and a tune, but man, this thing is comfortable. This car is just so comfortable to drive, everything about it, the seating position, the actual seats themselves. I'm not sure if he has any, I'm not sure if these are upgraded seats due to it being the 50th anniversary or not, but the shifter feels great. The steering feels great. Even the magnetic ride in here feels really refined. But guys, I never thought I would say this, okay? I have never liked Chevy my whole life, except for the Corvette. I've never really liked the Camaros until this generation. I finally realized they were trying to update it. They were trying to keep up. I thought the 2015 Mustang was gonna be like the greatest thing ever. It's the greatest muscle car since sliced bread. But this car, just immediately driving it. I don't know the quirks about it or anything, but it feels so much nicer than my 2015 Mustang GT. Everything about it, the seats, the interior, the, the shifter, even the acceleration, it just feels smooth and strong. Like it's ready to take you where you wanna go. It's not a brutal fast speed. And that, that might just be for me having driven some pretty fast cars in my lifetime. So, someone who's new to this kind of horsepower this might be a lot for them but I can honestly say just after this short dr drive I already would completely recommend this car I could drive this car eight hours a day no problem and I, I can just immediately tell that due to how comfortable these seats are it's really absurd I wish the seats in my Corvette were almost as comfortable this is a really great package if for some reason you need the back, the back seats that will fit toddlers. Um, the styling on the outside has actually grown on me a lot since the spy shot pictures were first announced. Now, I don't really have time to go take it through twisties, but I'm pretty sure it's more than capable, despite how heavy and big of a car it is. It's, it's never gonna be as nimble as a vet but it's not trying to be either. This is a GT Cruiser. You have power under your belt. You have style, you have looks. This is a win for Chevy in my opinion. And if I were to go back, I would have taken one of these. I mean, granted they weren't available, but if I had to choose between a Mustang now and one of these Camaros, the Camaro is gonna win all day at this point until Ford needs to step up their game, that's for sure. Let's turn around and bring him his car back. He's probably worried at this point. I'll uh, find somewhere to U-turn up here and uh, we'll get turned around. Woo! Woo, that felt 
felt good. That felt good, guys. <laughs> oh man, Ford, what are you doing? Step it up. And I know Dodge, you have your Demon and your Hellcat, but you're not competing in this class. You're not competing at all. I mean, this right now is the, if you're, if you're stuck between a Mustang, a Camaro, a Challenger, or a Charger, just trust me and get the Camaro. Now if you want rear wheel drive, less weight, same power, go with the Corvette. And it's gonna cost you a little bit more, but it's all about what fits you and what fits your lifestyle. But this is a great all-rounder. I'm so thoroughly impressed with the Camaro, especially this 50th edition. Okay. Before I give him his car back, I just figured out one thing that I wanted to try and see if it was any different. I saw he has the rev match paddles. So, my first instinct is like, let's compare it. See how it is compared to the Corvette. And as you'll see right there, the gear indicator is now orange, uh, meaning that rev match is turned on. So watch the RPMs here. Out of third gear in a second. Clutch still in. It holds it at what you need to be at. Like, it just holds the rev match. It, on the Corvette, it just quickly spikes to what the RPM should be and doesn't hold it. So if you're a little bit too slow, the revs have already dropped. That is such a big improvement on the rev matching. That is awesome. Once again, this car just continues to blow me away. It's actually a very, very nice car. That was awesome. I gotta tell you, that blew my mind. It was the, no, not the speed so much, just like the whole package. Yeah. So. The way it handles and everything? It handles nice, but it feels like the Corvette well, is it feel it feels like the Corvette is like yeah the Corvette feels like the crotch rocket in the Camaro like a Harley but a Harley with a lot of power it's refined it's a nice ride it's got the power so so what horsepower is that running the, they have the same engine yeah. that's 455 right there 455 these are rated I think 465 465 yeah but I have a tune and I have long tube headers and I deleted the catalytic converters. So mine wheel horsepower is near 450, where I think the Camaro wheel horsepower is around 415 to the wheels. Hmm. And uh, that's similar to what the vet made before the mods. Well, you had a, you had a Mustang before, compared to that Mustang? Blows it out of the water. Yeah. Now, I will still say that the Mustang blew away the previous gen Camaro, though your 45th? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But what Chevy has action, done. Once they do the independent, to me, I think they'll have a better. No, no, no. The new, the new Mustang had independent rear. Oh, yeah. That, the, the year I bought was okay. the first year they had it. Okay. So once they added that, that new Mustang mm -hmm. definitely, it, it falls below the new Camaro, but it was better than the sixth gen. Yeah. That's seventh gen, right? Uh, what all is upgraded on the 50th? Are the seats upgraded and everything? I saw the, the uh, stitching was orange, the Alcantara. Yeah, my 45th had all that. Yeah, but the yeah, regular the SS, thing. did you look at those two or just at the 50? 50. Oh. 45th. I mean, I, I wanted, what I wanted about them was the colors, the color, the scheme, everything, you know. All the other Camaros, red, white, blue, whatever, they're all yeah. the same. So the 45th was the same way that color was a carpet flash. You didn't have that color on any other color. It was just a 45th. So that's what I like about the specials. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me drive it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, I, I can't get away from it. I don't ride my bike anymore. You know? Yeah, I sold my bike after I bought the vet. I sold my crotch rocket. Um, if you want, I'll send you uh, the link to my channel so you can see. But Oh, you found my you found my YouTube? Yeah, I, I subscribed to it. Yeah, yeah. I seen you do the wheels and the oh yeah. Exhaust and 
I think you were talking about the mode, the, the, the modes. Yeah, yeah, the modes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, your your Camaro is going to be in the video now. Yeah, it was awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Now we're back to the vet. So the main key points about his car that I really love were the newer HUD, which was awesome. The shifter felt great. It felt magnificent. Um, such a great sock shifter. The seats in this car aren't that bad. They're probably almost as comfortable as the Camaro, but in my four hour trip, my back hurt a little bit afterwards and I just don't see that happening in the, in the Camaro. I personally think the Camaro would be a bit better of a daily driver. It doesn't feel as raw, but it still feels great and it does what it does great. So I'm probably repeating myself and rambling at this point. If you have a chance to drive one, you should definitely do it. Well, 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 look who it is. It's my roommate, Josh. Ran into him on the way home, literally just now. I just passed him and revved at him. <laughs> and he instantly darted out of traffic to come catch up. All right, guys, we're gonna end the video real quick with another edition of What's in the Box. So we've got a nano skin wash mitt. This is supposed to take the place of a clay bar when I'm going to be restoring my own paint. And the porter cable came in. What did I go with? The 7346 SP porter cable. I'm gonna be using this to do the restoration on my car, which I will of course document. This is gonna be my first time restoring paint. So I'm just deciding to go all the way and do it on the vet. I could practice on my truck, but I think it's gonna make for a better video this way. I wanna be able to document it for any of you that may have never done any kind of paint correction like myself. Just kind of all the things you'll need uh, when doing it for the first time and make my mistakes along the way so I can pass those tips along to you guys so you don't make the same mistakes on your own cars. All right, well that's everything inside the box for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed me stealing my coworker's Camaro and taking it for a little joyride. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thank you guys. See you next time.